going to work. I uh, had one of my longtime subscribers that I should have chatted on the last video, but eh, I kind of just liked the music that was on. Didn't really have much to say. Headed in tonight. No rain again, which is unusual. We were having rain every week since my fiance left. And, uh, and then suddenly now the tap's been turned off. It's hot, though. Oh, man, is it hot. It's like, what is it out there right now? 92 degrees, or so the car says. Uh, which, in my opinion, is is warm. <laughs> yeah. And it's been like that for a long time. It's been a warm summer. It was a crazy winter. It never really got cool down here last winter, either. And yes, Florida does get cool, but not last year. At least I didn't think it did, compared to the year before, the year before that. So, I'm taking you on a back road that I just found or knew about, but hadn't got a chance to use until a couple weeks ago. This is just a flat road that cuts my time in almost half. Um, from work to my house, if I come this way at night, around 3 o'clock in the morning when there really isn't any traffic or anything, I can be home in about 12 minutes, thereabouts, um, which is fairly good. Going the other way that it used to go would take me about 18 sometimes a little bit longer, but going to work, of course, takes a long because it's traffic, so, uh, yeah, about half, a little less than half, shaved off, um, this way is just a straight, flat road, and then a couple of turns I'm at work, and out here is just flat, I drove through here, was it last week or the week before, ran into a thunderstorm, now, I knew it was thundering and raining, but as you look down this road right now, Think of seeing a gray wall getting closer and closer and closer, and you couldn't see anything. When I hit that rain, I could not see the car in front of me or anything behind me. You had visibility maybe 8 to 10 feet in front and behind you. Um, it really was heavy. Um, it, was, it was bad. And I was clipping right along. Man, the wind just pushed the car right over to the passenger side of the road. I mean, it was unreal. I had the steering wheel turned, and it was still pushing it. I honestly thought I was going to see a twister come out of the gray clouds. It was just blowing straight across, debris, everything. It was unbelievable. Um, so, it's an interesting way to work when it's raining. But the good thing is, especially coming home at night, it's just I'm home before I know it, which is great. And there's not a lot of traffic on this road. I avoid the main way that I used to go, which is the main drag where there's construction and then there's a lot of people that use it. This way is nice and as you can see there's hardly any traffic at all. So it works out good for me. At least I think it does anyway. Normally I have my Meridio on on the new car. It comes with Sirius XM. I've been listening to the 80s channel, Hair Nation channel, which is a uh, um, heavy metal music from the 80s. Uh, the Elvis channel's pretty darn good, I ain't gonna lie. I found a reggae one that was pretty good too. Of course, the 70s. Um, so I've been, I like to listen to the music when I'm driving normally. <clears throat> it's uh, one of the few things that I uh, still allow myself to do. I have a motorcycle coming up on me. Now, I'm doing a little bit more than the speed limit here. It's 55 there. I'm doing about 57 because usually there's a uh, sheriff's officer somewhere down here, and that motorcycle is creeping right up on me, but eh, we got a you know, solid yellow line, so I don't think he's going to pass me. <clears throat> but the funny thing is, I was on this road, I think this one was last week, and there's this car, and he just wanted to come right up on me. I mean, he was coming up on me fast, and I had two cars in front of me. He blows past me, uh, and we were, I can't remember which part of the road we were at, but you couldn't really see far enough to get around two vehicles, but he just gunned it. Oh, he just made it past the guy that was uh, two cars in front of me for the other line of traffic coming. I couldn't believe it. Not worth risking your life over. And then, when I get to the end of the road down here, you got to take a left or a right. Um, he was sitting there waiting to take a turn. He had gained no more ground passing three cars than he had if he'd been behind me. I mean, really, what's the risk value there? I don't know. Anyway, it's a good way to work. I like it. There's not a lot of traffic. And uh, we'll head on in here and... Uh, do my shift. Uh, been a pretty quiet weekend so far, which is good. I like it that way. And uh, see how it goes. I do have my next um, eye appointment. Oh, Mr. Motorcycles decided to go for it. Oh, uh, yeah. No helmet, no gear, shorts and a t-shirt with a woman strapped on his back for the same thing. Look, I understand you like the freedom of a motorcycle, but you gotta at least wear a helmet. I mean, you know, if you're gonna wear shorts and a t-shirt, you know, I hope you don't crash. But for the love of God, why wouldn't you wear a helmet? You know, I'm not a big uh, gear guy. I mean, I know, you know, if, I, if you had a pair of jeans on and, you know, 
a hoodie and a helmet, I'd be fine with that. I mean, I know it's not the best protection, but at least your head's protected. But that, just in a t-shirt and shorts, good lord, you fall and get road rash, that's not going to be good. That lady ain't going to be looking too pretty when she's sliding down the road with no protection. Once again, they're going to get to the stop sign. Same time I do. Is it worth passing me for? I don't think so. Oh, well, my rant for the day, I suppose. Everybody gets a choice in life. You know, you can do what you want. Um, you make the choices, you got to live with the consequences. Speaking of motorcycles, we might as well hit the other thing before I get back to the eye appointment. Well, I'll do the eye appointment thing first. I got an eye appointment Friday. The problem with the one on Friday is <clears throat> my eye doctor is going on maternity leave. If you looked at my eye doctor, you wouldn't even know she was pregnant. She's a little Asian lady. She, I, I was stunned when they told me she was going on maternity leave. I'm like, what? She's not even pregnant. Anyway. Oh. Hopefully he gets out there. Okay. Let me see if there's any traffic coming here. No, oh, we're good. Anyway, um, it's an appointment at 10.30. Well, usually I get my appointments at 8.30 in the morning because uh, if you go to an eye doctor or any doctor, they always get behind. So even though my appointment's at 10.30, I'll be lucky if I see her by 11, if not later. The problem is, is i got to go to work that night. Usually I do these on Mondays because um, I get in at 8.30, I'm home by 9.30, and then I do patrol. But <laughs> that Friday I'm working front gate. So there should still be enough time for me to get my eyes adjust for it. Because I hate to give up a day's pay um, right now because, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get back online financially. So um, that should work out. And then I was saying uh, Pearl. Update on Pearl. Ooh, nice turn. Wee! <laughs> All right. Leave it to kidding me. Just come out. Um, he's going to pass that truck. I guarantee it. When he gets a chance, he's going to blow by that pickup truck. I, uh... I found a place that I can get Pearl fixed. The problem is i got to get Pearl there. I don't own a pickup truck. I don't have a trailer. I don't know anybody that owns a pickup truck or a trailer. So somehow i got to get my scooter down there to get it fixed. Because the guy said, oh yeah, we can fix it, no problem. And they're not that far from my house. Literally, they are just, what, one turn to the left, one turn to the right, and maybe seven, eight minutes, I mean, all together from the house to the, to the, the garage there, so or the uh, repair place. So I've really got to get on that. I got to get Pearl going. Geez, she's sitting there. It's very sad. And I really enjoyed riding Pearl around the park. And plus, the whole point of getting Pearl was that I would get experience in riding around on two wheels so that hopefully I can upgrade to a motorcycle. So, but everything in due time, I guess. Anyway, I am closing in on work quickly uh, down this nice little treed lane. And uh, we're going to get there and do some work. So, Hopefully you enjoyed the last video with the music. This one with me absolutely rambling on for, I don't know how many minutes. Um, and I want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I have some great subscribers. Um, and I will be getting the tour in this week, hopefully, of the new car. I have three days off. God willing, I can actually do that. Though, I don't know, Tuesday, I may, I may be doing something on Tuesday. My dad's going to go get an MRI. So I may be driving him down to Tampa for that one. I don't know, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you're all having a great day. I'll catch you beautiful people in the next video.